One morning, Gordon was resting in a siding near Nafford Station and was enjoying himself. Sometimes it's really tiring to be such a large and splendid engine. One does have to give up appearances, though. Just then, Henry pulled in and decided to sneak up on Gordon. Hello, fat face. What cheek! That Henry is too big for his wheels. Fancy speaking to me like that. Me! Me! Who has never had an accident? Don't you whistles and blow safety belts go to accidents, Gordon? <laughs> no, indeed. High spirits might happen to any engine. But to come off the rails, well, I ask you, is it right? Is it decent? A few days later, it was Henry and Fluttershy's turn to take the wild Norwester. Gordon watched them getting ready. Be careful, Henry. You're not pulling the flying kipper now. Mind you, keep on the rails today. <laughs> well, I never. Just ignore him, Henry. Gordon's just jealous. Jealous? Me? Ha! Stuff and nonsense. Henry went off in a huff, while Gordon yawned and went to sleep. But not for long. Just then, Rainbow Dash woke up the big express engine. Wake up, Big G! A special train is coming and we're assigned to pull it! Rainbow, give me the honest answer. Is it coaches or trucks? Well, I don't think you're going to like what I'm about to say, but I'm afraid it's cars. Cars? As in... Trucks? Pa! I told you you wouldn't like it. You bet I don't. <laughs> Gordon's fire was slow to start, so Edward and Applejack took him to the turntable at Titmashed to get him facing the right direction. I won't go! I won't go! Don't be silly, don't be silly. Oh, for Pete's sake. At last, Gordon was now on the turntable. The movement had shaken his fire and was now burning nicely and making plenty of steam. 
Gordon was so cross that he didn't care what he did. So he waited till he was halfway round. I'll show them, I'll show them. He then moved slowly forward to jam the table. But he couldn't stop himself as he slid into a muddy ditch. Oh, get me out! Get me out! Don't bring your hopes up, Big G. You're stuck there, you stupid engine. Do you understand that? Then she telephoned Sir Top and Hat for help. Hello? Northwestern Railway Main Office, Sir Topham Hat, Railway Controller speaking. Ah, uh, Rainbow Dash, what's up with you? Wait, let me get this straight. So Gordon didn't want to take the special and ran into a ditch to avoid it instead? What's that you say? The special waiting? Tell Edward and Applejack to take it, please. And what about Gordon? Oh, leave where he is for now. We'll get him out later tonight. Now don't get fussy with me, Rainbow Dash. I don't have time for arguments. We have a railway to run. Now go find some other work that needs to be done until then. Good day! <sighs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the ditch, Discord was having a great time teasing Gordon. Oh, doesn't he look silly in there? It's a perfect Kodak moment! Oh, this is too irresistible! Then he began to sing a little tune. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch all on a Monday morning. Shut up, Discord! You shouldn't make fun of Big G like that! Go bother some pony else! Uh, fine. Have it your way, then. I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm afraid you'll have to stay here until the night. What? You're going to leave me here? All alone? Two things. One, since you're stuck in the mud, you're not going anywhere for a while. And two, I've been waiting weeks for the new Daring Do book to come out, and it's today! It's finally here! <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later! Oh dear, I shall never get out. Abandoned in my time of need by the only pony friend I've ever known. Just so she can read a blasted new book. Leaving me to rust away in the muddy, frog infested, odorous swamp waters of this ditch. Alone, neglected, and forgotten. Such a fate be fitting a stuck up. Boastful, stubborn, and arrogant engine such as I! Oh, if only I had swallowed my pride and pulled the goods chain! If only. Uh, okay, okay, you big baby. I guess I can stay with you until the cranes get here. I don't want to leave my big G all alone to suffer. Oh, thank you, Rainbow Dash. You truly are a saint. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anything to make you stop blubbering like that. Rainbow Dash. What? Do, um, do you really think I'm a stupid engine? Ugh, <sighs> no. Bullheaded, yes. But stupid? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. In a way, I really sort of deserve this. <laughs> I mean, the look on your face was priceless. <laughs> Rainbow Dash and Gordon shared a chuckle as they continued to wait for help. Later that evening, powerful jacks were brought in to lift Gordon and then made a road of sleepers under his wheels to keep him away from the mud. Strong ropes were hooked to his back end, and James and Henry, pulling hard, managed to bring him back to safety.
later that night, Gordon crawled into a shed, a sadder but wiser engine.